Well, hello, Facebook community. How are you this evening? This is Renee Michelle Floyd. And um, I just want to come on here and speak to you for a few minutes. I'm not going to hold you long. Um, but I wanted to say hey to my community, to all my friends and family members that find themselves over here <laughs> in my space, right? I welcome you so much. Um, and I uh, appreciate it. Hey, Eddie, how are you, girl? How are you? It's good to have you on here with me. Yay. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, say hello to the community and just let you all know that um, I'm just in a contemplative mode this evening. I am so blessed, so blessed and so grateful to um, just have a community here on Facebook and in my life. Um, God has been so good to me. And I guess I am contemplative because I am approaching my 59th year on this earth, right? Oh my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It has been 59 years this coming Saturday, March 19th. I was born in 1963. I can't believe it. What a wonderful day. <laughs> and I am just so grateful. God has been good to me in my life. And uh, all my life work, all the things that I've done, the businesses that I've done, you know, um, you know how sometimes you just feel like, what is my purpose? You know, what is my purpose here on earth? And I know I have six children, right? I gave birth to five and I was blessed with a bonus son through marriage. And, but those five children that I actually raised, I, um, I would notice, you know, a special gift or a bend to something, right? And I would pour into that. And that thing that you do effortlessly and that you would do whether you were paid for it or not is what you're called to do. That's your life work, right? And so my life work found me, right? I have always been attracted to business. Um, I have thoughts about business, how to reach people, how to market to people. Um, you know, believe it or not, <laughs> I used to be very introverted and I still am. I still, I'm telling you, if I had a book, my crochet or a sewing machine and, and a puzzle, right? I'm a puzzler as well. <laughs> I can sit in a corner and entertain myself. I am just fine. It takes a lot for me to come on here on this platform and be with you all live, right? Because there's no take backs. <laughs> there's no editing. This is me. This is real, right? And so, um, but the thing that you find yourself doing effortlessly right? Things that, that you are passionate about and that you just tend to keep going back to, that's what your life work is. That's what your calling is, right? And our purpose in that calling is for those of you who are believers, right? Our purpose in that calling is to glorify God in whatever we do, the way we do business, the way we uh, communicate with other people, the way we sell our products and our wares, right? It's all to glorify God, right? And those of us, some of us are called to uh, minister to others through our offering. Some of us are called to give back knowledge. Some of us are called to give back financially. You have financial gurus, people who have the spirit of um, philanthropy, right? Those who love, who have just money just 
comes to them and who loves to just give, right? You have those, you have those who are, are um, warm and inviting, right? Um, and you have those who can sell a shoestring <laughs> off of their shoes if they need it to, right? And so anything that you find yourself passionate about, that you just wake up and you, you go to sleep and you wake up and you're thinking about it all the time, that is your calling. And the purpose in your calling is to believe and to um, glorify God in that calling, right? And so my, I guess I saw my mother. My mother is my inspiration. And as I was growing up, she, to make ends meet, we were on welfare, right? And to make ends meet, she would go down to Los Angeles. I'm from Los Angeles, right? And downtown Los Angeles and go to those uh, fabric stores that had, you know, very inexpensive, some would call it cheap material. <laughs> and she would cut out and make blouses, right? And sell those blouses back in those days for like five or ten dollars, right? And that was money. And then we would get up early in the morning and just go to the swap meet, to the Vermont swap meet. <laughs> for those who know are from California and who know what the Vermont swap meet is, we would get up at four o'clock in the morning and get out there and be in that line so that she had one single little clothes rack, right? And she would put and display the blouses that she would make during the week. And people would come and buy those blouses and those few pennies would help her and I survive to the next uh, welfare check, right? And see, she would also put blouses, she would make up so many and put blouses in the trunk of her car and sell from the trunk of her, trunk of her car. I tell you, those were some desperate, desperate times. So I saw her work ethic. I saw her, um, you know, I saw the hard work that she did just to make ends meet and not have to ask anybody for help or a handout, right? Even though we were uh, struggling on welfare. Um, and so that made an impression on me. And that's why I think I got my entrepreneurial spirit right there. Um, uh, just witnessing uh, the things that she did to survive. And so, um, so it was, it was something that she let me get into freely. Um, and she'll tell you today that <laughs> as a teenager, you know, a, a typical teenager, right? She used to ask me to help her cut out the blouses and I had an attitude and I didn't want to do it. And so I would be chopping that fabric up and made it hard for her to uh, sell those, you know, to sew those blouses up and sell those blouses. Oh, I'm so sorry about that today, mother. <laughs> and, uh, but she would do it anyway. So she just let me go and say, listen, get, do what you feel you want to do, that you're called to do, that you lo love doing. And I always uh, love crocheting, right? So I started crocheting and and then I had to uh, make a camisole for one of the little blouses that I made. And, um, and she did not help me at all. I got some fabric, well, in terms of sewing it up, but she gave me a little advice on how to put it together. But I just, I made a camisole for that little crochet top and, um, and I tell you, I've been sewing ever since I got a job at the fabric store. I don't know if someone is here from California that remember this fabric store called Fabric King. It was located in Downey, Cal was it Downey, California or, um, Cerritos or Bellflower, one of those little, I can't even remember the city. I can't even remember. I think it was near Cerritos, California. But anyway, it was called Fabric King. And if anybody is from California and remember that fabric store, 
Please, I would love to know if somebody remember Fabric King, right? <laughs> that would be awesome. So put it in there that you remember Fabric King from California. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, you know, that's where I was inspired with my entrepreneurial spirit. And so from there, I used to sew. I went to Los Angeles Trade Technical College and um, I um, majored in fashion design, did well in fashion design. And from there, after I graduated, I uh, opened up my own business called Galleria of Hospital Fashions, right? And that's where my mom used to work in the hospital at Rancho Los Amigos Hospital, Rehabilitation Hospital in Downey, California. If anybody know where that is, just... <laughs> oh, this is California trivia tonight, right? Um, right, you know, type in there. Yes, I know where Rancho Los Amigos Hospital is in Downey, California, right? And so anyway, she was a, a nursing attendant there. <clears throat> and um, I had just graduated from Los Angeles Trade Technical College in the fashion design um, uh, uh, industry. And I used to design hospital uniforms and sew them up and sell them for her, um, for her, uh, you know, her uh, workmates. Right. And so, um, so anyway, I did that. And then I started making dolls. And then, I mean, I have, I've made everything from quilts to drapes, to bedspreads, to baby girl clothes. I used to make little baby girl clothes, like size, you know, uh, two months or, or two years old. And those dresses used to sell out, right? <laughs> and so I did all of that. And then, you know, I just got into hair, just really, um, just got into hair care and, um, and, and, you know, I just, I needed, um, I'm, this is a long story short, right? When I was, uh, going through my divorce from my first husband, my children's father, um, I prayed and I said, Lord, what is it that I can do that I can make the quickest, fastest, easiest money to take care of my family. And so he told me hair, right? And so I, at the time, I was doing braids and dreadlocks. And then I saw this hairstyle called sister locks, right? And I had to have them and I had to go learn how to, how to install them. And so I built a wonderful career around sister locks and had a wonderful time with all my customers and clients from around the world. Literally people used to fly in sometime and come and, um, and get their hair installed, their sister locks installed by me. Um, and, uh, built a wonderful career in the Inland Empire, right? That was in, that's when we lived in, in Moreno Valley, California, um, we lived in Paris, California, right? And so I had many, many, many customers and clients um, while I was actually actively doing hair. And I created beautiful hair products because I was using some of the branded Sister Locks products and um, happened to get a hold to a bad batch right? Many of you heard this story before. Um, and uh, the, the the product broke my scalp out, right? And uh, talked to, I called Dr. C and she said to not use it. They had to pull those products off the shelf. Wow. I don't even, ah, what year was that? I can't remember what year that was, but anyway, in the interim, my scalp was was uh, broken out. It was, it was damaged. And so I had to have something to help heal my scalp. And so of course me being the naturalist, I uh, made a rinse out of herbs, right? And so after my scalp healed, um, after my scalp healed, then I started mixing and concocting and 
uh, putting all my uh, favorite uh, ingredients, all natural and organic ingredients. I'm a lover of essential oils and natural uh, products and lotions and conditioners and things like that. And so I... God literally gave me a vision of what to put together, how to put it together to create products that was good for my hair. Because I, at this point, I had sister locks, right? And you can't put a lot of waxy stuff in your hair. You can't put a lot of stuff in your hair, right? Because they're so thin and, and lightweight. And so um, he showed me, God showed me what to do and how to do it. And so I created beautiful hair products, right? Started using them. They were awesome for my hair, made my hair soft and manageable. No buildup, no product buildup. And so then I started, you know, uh, using them in my family's hair and um, started making videos. And then my customers, my clients started inquiring and then I offered to use them as you know use samplers in their hair and they absolutely loved it and look up here now it's um almost 15 years later <laughs> 13 years that um I've been you know making and mixing and selling and sharing beautiful hair products and so with all the knowledge that I have of hair care and especially uh, kinky, curly, wavy, beautifully textured hair, right? I have a lot of knowledge, have, you know, styled many, many heads, different hair uh, textures and types. And, um, and so have lots and lots of experience, lots of uh, knowledge. And so... You know, after I retired, I had a 15 year, wonderful 15 year career as a certified Sister Locks consultant. And um, I retired uh, like five years ago, six years ago now. And um, just been, and it was always my dream while I was actually, um, while I was actually doing hair, actively, you know, styling hair to to only, um, you know, be online, sell online and market my products. That was my dream. So in the night, in the daytime, I was doing hair. And at night I was building my business, <laughs> building my business with beautiful hair products. And so now for the last six years, I have been exclusively uh, marketing and sharing and selling beautiful hair products. And it's been a beautiful journey, right? And I have learned a lot. You all have been wonderful customers and clients of mine, many of you in this community. Um, and I am just grateful. I am grateful. And so now I have, and God dropped in my spirit to, um, to coordinate a live webinar teaching why you should moisturize your natural hair, especially those who wear sister locks, right? Um, and so I started putting this webinar together at the end of last year. And now um, I am in full swing with my five steps you can take right now <laughs> to soothe your scalp and hydrate your hair. Even if you wear sister locks, dreadlocks, braids, or twist. That is my live webinar on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, right? And it is awesome. I have such a good time. I love interacting with everyone and answering your questions. And then I get to share again, the beautiful hair products, moisturizing system bundles. I love it. I love it. Right. Because I get to share the complete package of what has worked for me and many, many others that has blessed my hair to be healthy and strong and moisturized, right? And so 
This webinar is featuring the Beautiful Hair Products Moisturizing System Bundles plus more, right? So you have to attend the webinar, the web class to find out everything that you get. And I only advertise this particular bundle during the webinar, right? You cannot get this special um, not if you're not on the webinar, right? And so, um, so the, the beauty of this is that it's affordable, it's complete, it has everything that you need uh, to complete your moisturizing system, right? And many of you know that I used to put a challenge out, a weekly challenge for the steaming challenge, right? And I still am doing that personally. Um, I will be starting another steaming challenge soon. So be listening out for that. But one thing I wanted to say about my company, right? Is that it is owned and operated by myself. My son, who is 15, he also works as the product manager, right? He mix and, and, and make the products, put the labels on, uh, process the orders, uh, send them out, right? Uh, my husband is the chief financial um, officer and my mother is the inventory manager, right? And so it's a family, a black family, small business operation. And we work right here in our small home uh, uh, production uh, center in our home. Everything is mixed and prepared, you know, from the highest standards, right? And so, um, so when you see me on here, it's more than just me selling my products. There's a whole, whole world, a whole thing going on in the background, right? So not only have I uh, created these products years ago, my son and my children, my other children, have grown up working in the company, right? And so now that my son is the only one home, my 15 year old son is the only one home. So he has no choice. <laughs> he has no choice. So I am training him. We're training him and teaching him business skills, um, customer service, uh, excellence, right? Um, so when you see the product with the labels on there, if one is just a little crooked, right, he's still learning, right? But the product, the ingredients, the uh, the 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 hair care product inside is, I'm telling you, second to none. And for yes, I I focus on those who wear sister locks, but I'm telling you, these products are good for all hair types, all hair styles. So if you have natural hair dreadlock hair, brother locks, sister locks, dreadlocks, twist, curls, braids, right? It's good for all hair hairstyles. And I just want to encourage you, right, to consider when I show up and you know that you need quality hair products, try beautiful hair products, right? Now, Beautiful Hair Products is the uh, Mercedes of the products that are out there, right? I didn't want to offer you uh, any Hugo products. You remember those putt-putt cars, right? You can't even find a Hugo anymore. <laughs> so, you know, I we create these products, mix and mat and and uh, mix and produce these products in the highest quality um, with the best ingredients, right? And they're all hand mixed and hand poured and the labels are hand affixed onto each and every jar and bottle. And as you can see, you can see some of the products uh, in the display case in the back, right? And um, so these products are, uh, a, I mean, they're not $1.99 by any ways, you know, uh, close to that. And so I want to encourage you that 
when you when you think about beautiful hair products, um, know that lots of love and care is put in each and every bottle jar, right? And the sweat equity is in there, right? And um, think about it. When you look at beautiful hair products and you may criticize the price, which I don't see how you can, right? But think about how sometimes we, we put our money where we want to put our money, right? When we put our money toward eyelashes, nails, and these are my nails, by the way. No, nothing about me is fake, right? You can even see that I have I have embraced my gray hair, right? So I don't color my hair. So I'm a naturalist, right? But we prioritize what's important to us. And I know back in the day, I used to love buying this $1.99 shampoo, right? Because I was cheap. <laughs> I didn't want to buy the best products because I thought... I can get away with it, but my hair end up suffering. And so it was always dry and itchy. And so sometimes we can be cheap with ourselves, with our hair care, especially. And we don't think that it's important, right? To invest in the best when it comes to our hair care. And in order to get the best out of something, you have to invest, put a little skin in the game. And so I want to encourage you to think about it. When you go buy that latte at Starbucks, right? You're making that company rich, right? You put $5, however much you want to spend into that company, right? Uh, getting your nails done by the, the Asian community, mostly Asian. You're making that family rich, right? Getting your lashes done. You're making that company rich, right? Um, the clothes, Gucci and Versace and Fendi and all those other companies, you're making them rich, right? And, um, but me, beautiful hair products, CEO, creator, and <laughs> boss, right, of beautiful hair products, you think a second thought before you invest in the products that I have, right? Because I'm just me, my little old black self here um, from Compton, California. And I'm not a big corporation by no stretch of the imagination. I'm just out here sharing what God has blessed me with. And uh, to each woman and man, um, you're, if they're worthy of their hire. And so before you go and spend a dollar ninety nine, you know, on some cheap shampoo from a big, huge company, think about beautiful hair products and me and my little tribe here that uh, started. We're a bootstrap company that started from nothing, literally nothing. Right. And we're offering our products to our community right? To our community. And, um, you know, the dollars that you spend here with beautiful hair products helps to further that cause, um, you know, and it's very appreciated. And I would appreciate if you were to share the link, right? And just to make it easier, if you don't want to go all in, I also offer try it size packages, right? Um, the Try It size comes in the Argan collection, the Peppermint collection, and the Lavender collection. Uh, we create uh, the shampoo, the spray, the conditioner, and the hair oil, right? And so just, just, be, just be sensitive, be cognizant before you think a second thought. Think about who you are supporting, right? Who you are encouraging, it's very encouraging when we have an order come in from our community, right? It's very encouraging. And so, you know, to spend a couple of dollars, $20 on a nice size jar of organic, natural hair conditioner that will definitely eliminate dryness and brittle hair, 
that's specifically made with you in mind, think about it. Think about it before you buy from Ulta, right? Before you buy from, uh, from Sally's. Think about buying from beautifulhairproducts.com. CEO, owner, and creator, Renee Michelle Floyd, right? Who's training her 15-year-old son business skills, customer service skills, and creating wealth for my children's children's children, if the world will be around by then, <laughs> right? And, um, and I want to create a legacy. I want to, um, give back to my community. So this is why I, um, created the, um, the webinar, the web class to teach how to use the products, why you should use the products, what's in the products, right? And then I have a wonderful offering that will help you from beginning to end you know, uh, perfect your hair care. So I just wanted to share with you that hair care, right, is self-care. Hair care is self-care. And a lot of you may not have hair issues. You can cut your hair off and it'll grow back in an hour. I'm not talking to you really. Right. I'm talking to those of us like me who grew up with uh, troubled hair, problem hair. This is the longest that my hair has ever been. Right. And I have it up in a ponytail. I do not feel like taking it down so you can see it. But you will see pictures and everything of me online <laughs> during the week. You have seen me. Right. And so uh, what has worked for me is what I'm sharing with you. And so I don't want to get, you know, could belabor my, uh, my soapbox, right? But I just wanted to let you all know, for those of you who have supported me and my business and have uh, purchased beautiful hair products, thank you so much. I am ever so grateful. Um, uh, I am, you know, grateful to still be alive and well and and uh teaching and training and enjoying and and posting and and connecting with you all here online it's a wonderful wonderful time i'm living my best life and um and i'm just grateful so um just wanted to share that with you and just let you know that um I am here for you if you need help with with uh, any questions, any uh, thing that you may have about what Beautiful Hair Products is. Um, and um, I have the link down in the description or up in the description uh, of the webinar. That's this Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I have the link. You click on the link, beautifulhairproducts.com. And you will see a little pink ticker bank uh, ticker banner at the top, and it will say "Free Live Web Class." Click on that and register for the webinar. And I can't wait to see you in the web class. Right? All right, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to say hey to you this evening and just share my thoughts with you on this day, this evening. You all have a great night and I will talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>